Nahan, and today on behalf of Norbert Tastan, Dr. Mohammed Zagam Zuhair, and Dr. Kartik Nanda Kumar, I'll be presenting our accepted work titled A Course to Find Pseudo Labeling Framework for Unsupervised Video Anomaly Detection. It's a critical and challenging problem, mainly because of its various real world applications, such as autonomous surveillance and because it is extremely subjective. An anomalous event is an event that deviates from normal behavior and may occur occasionally in such videos. Things like video surveillance generate massive amounts of data, making it crucial to detect anomalous events. While a vast majority of these videos only contain normal behavior, it is essential to detect anomalous events such as, sh such as shooting, road accidents, fighting, etc. Hence, Video anomaly detection is a critical problem, especially in surveillance applications. This mainly generates an unstable ratio of cameras to human monitors. The goal is to detect the time window where an anomaly has occurred. However, given the rare occurrences and short temporal nature of anomalous events in real-world scenarios, obtaining such accurate fine-grained annotations is a laborious task. Several video anomaly detection methods have been proposed to leverage video level labels and perform weekly supervised training to reduce annotation costs. However, since surveillance data sets are usually a large scale collection of videos, it is still cumbersome to obtain any kind of labels. In addition to weekly supervised methods and to avoid the capturing of anomalous examples, researchers have widely explored one class classification methods. This is formulated as an anomaly slash outright detection algorithm where they only use normal videos for training and at the time of inference data instances that, that does not confirm the learned normal representations are protected as are protected as anomalous. This however fails to model diversity data successfully and if any normal scenes that differs from the learned representations could be could be false flagged as an anomalous. We attempt to bridge the gap between unsupervised and supervised methods by taking unlabeled set of training videos as input and producing segment level pseudo labels without relying on any human supervision. We propose a two stage post to find pseudo labeling generator that utilizes hierarchical device clustering and statistical hypothesis testing to obtain segment level pseudo labels. Based on our C2FPL framework, we propose an unsupervised video anomaly detection system that is trainable without any annotations. And to the best of our knowledge, this is among the first few works to explore the unsupervised video anomaly detection setting in detail. The proposed C2FPL framework consists of three main stages during training. In the first course pseudo labeling stage or CPL, we generate a video level pseudo label for each training set in our training videos using hierarchical divisive clustering. This is done by recursively clustering them into two groups, normal and anomalous. We also observed that the variation in feature magnitude across different segments are lower for normal videos. And based on this intuition, we represent each video using a statistical summary of its mean and variance of its L2 norms. This ensures a uniform, a uniform representation of all videos despite the varying temporal lengths. Initially, all the videos in the training set are assigned to a normal cluster and the anomaly cluster is initialized to an empty set. The normal cluster is then reclustered to obtain two new child clusters. The, the smaller cluster is merged with the previous anomaly cluster while the larger cluster is labeled as normal. This process is repeated until the ratio of number of videos in the anomaly cluster to the number of videos of the normal cluster is, is larger than the set threshold. At the end of the CPL stage, all the videos in the training set are assigned a video level pseudo label based on the corresponding cluster index. Pseudo level generator stage. We begin by labeling all of the segments coming from a normal set as normal. However, most of the segments in a normalist video are also normal due to the temporal localization of anomalies. Hence, further refinement of the course video level levels is required. To achieve this goal, 
we treat the detection of anomalous segments as a statistical hypothesis testing problem. Specifically, the null hypothesis is that a given video is normal, and by modeling the distribution of the features under the null hypothesis as a Gaussian distribution, we, we identify the anomalous segments by estimating their p-value and rejecting the null hypothesis if the v-value is, is less than a significance level alpha. To model the distribution of features under the null hypothesis, we also consider only the segments from videos that are so labeled as normal from the previous stage. The figure on the right shows an illustration of this approach, which clearly indicates strong agreement between the estimated v-values and the ground truth anomaly levels on the validation set. However, directly assigning a pseudo level to a segment based on its v-value ignores the reality that anomalous segments in a video tend to be temporarily contiguous. One way to overcome this limitation is to mark the contiguous where the anomalous region is determined by a sliding window of size W across the, across the video, and we select the video, we select the window that has the worst average p-value. Each segment in this anomalous region is assigned as pseudo level of one, while all the while all the remaining segments are pseudo labeled as normal, given a value of zero. At the end of this FPL stage, a segment level pseudo level is assigned to all of the segments in the training set. The forms of our approach: two large-scale video detection data sets are used to evaluate our approach, mainly UCF crime and XD violence. UCF crime consists of 1,600 training videos that are collect collected from real-world surveillance camera feeds, totaling around 128 hours in length. XD Violence is a multimodal video detection dataset that is collected from streaming, streaming videos, movies, web videos, and surveillance feeds. It consists of around 3,900 videos totaling a span of 217 hours. We also adopt the commonly known AUC evaluation metric for, our, for all of our experiments. Right. The proposed C2FPL method achieves an AUC performance of 80.65%, outperforming all of the existing unsupervised and OCC methods while performing comparably to existing state-of-the-art weak supervised methods. Furthermore, our unsupervised C2FPL framework even outperforms some methods in the weak supervised setting, thus bridging the gap between unsupervised and supervised approach approaches. While this is impressive considering that our method does not require any supervision, it highlights the need of further improvement in the accuracy of our CP CPL stage. For XD violence, the proposed methods has an AUC of 80.09%, which is significantly better than current state-of-the-art unsupervised methods. Additionally, our framework achieves good results even in comparison to other OCC and weak supervised methods. We provide some qualitative results where anomaly scores predicted by our C2FPL approach are visualized for several videos on the UCF crime dataset. It can be observed that the, the predicted anomaly score generally correlates well to the anomaly ground truth in many cases. We also show some more failure cases where our, de where our detector predicts several frames after the actual shooting event as anomalous. Supervised video and detection methods are highly useful in real-world applications. In this work, we propose an unsupervised video and detection approach based on a two-stage pseudo-labeling generator that facilitates the training of a segment-level anomaly detector. Extensive experiments conducted on two large-scale large datasets demonstrate that our proposed approach can be successfully uh, reduced the gap between unsupervised and supervised approaches.